Watch how simple this is. I go into daily timesheets and it's a very simple grid style entry. I pick the job, pick the employee and you're done. Now this is a roofing job. Watch what happens when I switch over to an interior job. I'm gonna pick a floor. The cost codes are different. And watch what happens when I switch to floor two. Again, cost codes are different. The job drives the configuration of the app. The foremen don't have to do a thing. So every effort is taken to reduce cost coding errors. Now, if you also have other things that you want to track from a payroll AHR perspective, like absenteeism or reimbursements, for example, that is all done within the app itself. You got a full historical look back. We don't delete the previous records when you sync. If you're tracking crews, no problem. You can complete all crew time cards in one fell swoop. And this is hyper-converged with supervisor time verification and approval workflows. So they can complete their tasks, their time verifications and approvals right in the app as well. And this, of course, is hyper-converged with HR and payroll. So they're watching the data come in in live time. Data entry is removed from their tasks so they can focus on looking for errors. And now it doesn't stop there. Remember, this is a super app. All apps, one spot, no setup. So the full workflow completes right back to the labor breakout. It's a live labor breakout, inclusive of pending and approved change orders, showing remaining hours and remaining man days. Now the time card workflows are tightly interwoven with the time tracking and production tracking workflows. And we have several options for both of those. The foreman either have the option of checking in and checking out employees with a roll call sheet, or you can set up kiosks for the employees to punch in and punch out using a pin number or facial recognition technology. And when it comes to production tracking, we have three different levels. You can go to the timesheets and you can enter in production by individual. You can enter in production by crew or the most popular version is you can go to the progress entry screen and enter in production by quantity or by percentage complete. And this is hyperconverged with the cost projection tool. So the cost projections will automatically be updated with the field's perspective of either quantity complete or percentage complete. Win!